Hello and welcome to Pop Along RC. We're back in the man cave. We are back in the man cave. I've got my hat on and, I'm, and I've got the shirt on. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like I it? like it, I do like it. I took Is my... it too much? It's, it's, not, too much. it's not too much. Mm. I took my uh, hoodie off because it's a bit warm in here. It's warm in here, yeah. I like it. it, it in here. Anyway, look, what are we doing here? What we doing? are here because it is uh, it's Tamiya Talk. So, Tamiya Talk. we um, had a cracking race last week over at Leighton Buzzard and there were a lot of noobs over yeah um, and cute. we were running our iconic cup car setup which is one of these team powers motors um, but we were a lot quicker than everybody else yeah and that weren't well our drivers are all right but we were considerably quicker I would put it down to and I know you would put it down to the motor because the motor we're using there as far as I'm aware, I will stand corrected probably if um, you know I'll get it wrong. But it's a 17 turn, so that's yeah, pretty quick. Isn't that it? is pretty quick. And if you consider, if you go with a basic silver can motor like this one here, that is a 27 turn. So there's a massive difference between a 17 and a 27. Yeah. However, I don't want to go to silver. We can. don't want to go silver can. We've been there and done that. And fortunately, when we bought the TTO ones, they come with one of these beautiful uh, TBLE02 ESCs. Comes with Tamiya connectors, um, which we don't run because they get a bit worn. They do indeed. They wear so, out, they're rubbish. We don't actually use that. What have we got in ours at the moment? Dean's connectors. No, what's the ESC? Oh, the ESC. It's a hobby wing, isn't it? It's a hobby wing. Quick so, run, hobby ring, quick run. Uh, nice and little, nice and small. Doesn't take up much space at all. But the uh, TTO1E does come with one of these motors as stock, and that is the torque tuned motor. Now that one is a 25 turn, isn't it? Yeah, so I think it's a nice middle ground. I would say a step up. <laughs> it's, just, it's actually a step down, but we're trying to close the gap between us and some of the slower cars to make it fairer. And in actual fact, that's my favourite little phrase though, in actual fact. In actual fact. Yeah. So a lot of the guys there were actually running the torque tune motor, because as I say, that is the stock motor that comes with the cars. So we are gonna go back to these cars. Now, what I don't like about these uh, motors is how flimsy these wires are. Horrible. They are not nice little wires, so, I think we need to hack them off. I'm going to cut them off. Cut them off. And another thing, the reason why we don't use these is because these these connectors here are very poor and uh, they're, they're loose, you know, they, and you'll find if you use these that they will get really hot and they'll start to melt the plastic sleeve in here, so it's the rubber straight plastic sleeve in there, and uh, and you're, you're basically losing power. And we don't want to lose because it turns it into heat. Indeed. So let's just get rid of them. Get rid of them, and we're going to actually sold it directly onto the ESC, um, and keep the old wires nice and short, nice tight, nice and tidy. What are you doing there then? Well, we've got to take the top deck off to access the motor, basically, because the motor under here um, has an, another case, like encasing the spur and the, and, the, and the pinion. So this has to come off. Cool, cool. So how long does this job normally take? I reckon 15 minutes, but I've always maintained that in these videos, and I will always maintain it, get organised. Look at this, so we've got the board, we've got a knife, we needed that, we've got a good selection of tools here, and that's another thing, get some decent tools. Don't get power man tools, they don't last long. What's a little pot for then boss? Screws. Screws. You know where I got that from? Go on then. The harvester. The harvester, is that a sauce pot, is it? Well, if you order, they do a, like a pudding in there, which which the kids had, and it's like a cookie dough thing, and, and you get your little Smarties in there, you see. 
Oh, all right, good, isn't it? Okay, so now we can see the motor there. Um, so if you just turn the car over to the side so we can have a little look at that. There it is. So you have to take off the out casing to access the motor. Now it's quite simple to take it out from this point. Three, two, one. Bosh. Bosh. Next, just removing the pinion gear. Again, get a nice little set of tools. These were cheap, but they were good. Yeah. I think these are the fast track ones, aren't they? They are. And that lovely. Take that off. Put that in our little, our little pot. Pass the pot. Lovely jubbly. Now it's worth saying with these motors, obviously you've got the green and yellow leads that we did cut off of the motor because they're very thin. Whereas as you can see on the car there, we've got the uh, blue and yellow leads, which are a lot thicker. They're the ones that come straight out the ESC. And um, we're going to solder those direct onto the motor. Now that motor hasn't got any leads attached to it, but we did actually scar the side of the can with a letter, and we put a letter Y on it, didn't we, Mark? We Why did, did you do that? Because we know that that is where the yellow wire goes. And what happens if we get it wrong? It'll go, well, it'll go fast in reverse, and it goes in forwards. You just get it around the wrong way, so. Which is really annoying, because then you have to start again. It's really annoying. Okay, right, so. Uh, I'll just tin this wire. This is called tinning the wire, for those of you that don't know. You just get a bit of solder on there, fresh bit, and then, yeah. Now, Mark always used to take the mick out of me when we used to run minis, because my mini looked like, I don't know, what it looked like someone poured a tin of spaghetti on top of it. It was, <laughs> it was a mess. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it, Carl. I wouldn't lie to you. Whereas yours... It stressed me out just looking at it. Your, uh... You've had sparkies in the family, you see, so you're quite particular about your wires and exactly. your bits and bobs like that. So you're very, very tidy. Hence, whenever there's anything like this to be done, um, I tend to let Mark do it. Because you actually quite enjoy it once you I do like it. it. I've always loved soldering. Ever since I was a kid, my dad used to... I think he actually bought me a soldering iron for Christmas once. I, was, I think I was probably about, I don't know, seven. <laughs> You know, but hey, that's what we were into. We, we, we've always been, our family's always, we've always been into some form of RC racing, be it off road, on road, whatever. And it obviously comes with the territory. You need to know how to solder and, and look after your cars and stuff when you replace the motors and that. I think last time I uh, did some soldering, I ended up in hospital, didn't I? You did. Did, yeah. We, it was this, I think it was this soldering iron that did it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and tell the viewers what happened. Uh, so I left the soldering iron. We kind of had a little thing I was holding it upright with. Or did you put it on my draining board or something? Anyway, the um, the point of it was um, pointing directly up, and I dropped my elbow down with some considerably uh, considerable force, and ended up burning a hole not just through my skin, but I've actually now got a little indent in the bone where it literally burnt straight through. Um, I yeah, I did feel bad for about I don't know, five minutes. Yeah, it got infected and yeah, it wasn't nice. <laughs> it, it, it was ma it? Ma it so oh, you my know what? swelled up quite big, so you have to respect these things. Yeah. Right, so Piggy goes back on. Obviously, there's a flat spot on there. You need to mesh it up nice and tight like that. Again, my OCD will not let me rush this bit. This has to be done right. This has to be done right. Now on some of the other um, Tamiya's in the past used to come with a little cap that you used to place on which would give you the correct yeah. lining of the, the pinion so you make sure it's the, the right distance away from the motor. Do you still have that with a TTO1? They do not have it with this car. This so how do you know you've got it straight then? Do you know what? Uh, I The chances are I'm going to have to take this off again in a minute. And line up again. And line it up again. So it's just trial and error. But I like to get it so the whole, the, the entire pinion is actually on on the spur. I don't like it like hanging off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because you know you want it'll wear it. It's an uneven wear, isn't it? And and we don't want that really. Because this is a cheap form of racing. But 
it can, the costs can, if you've seen one of our videos, the costs can mount up. So you want to just, you know, you want your stuff to last. You know? Right, let's see where we're at with that. I think that's pretty good. Ooh. So, there you have it. We have the uh, Team Powers motor is now out. And as I say, we've taken the wires directly off of there and soldered them straight on to the torque tuned motor. So that now, ready for racing tomorrow. Good to go. Yeah. So, uh, if you like the Tamiya Racing, please like, subscribe, and tune in again soon because there's plenty more racing on the horizon. Indeed, you do. Take care.